write a short note on conditional or decision statement in Python with an appropriate examples. In conditional or decision making statements, a block of code need to be executed or not is decided by a Boolean condition. If the condition is true, the statement block will be executed. If the condition is false, the statement block will not be executed. There are two forms of conditional statements in Python. First one if statement, the second one if else statement. The first one if statement. If statement is a conditional statement that allows to change the flow of program execution based on a condition. If statement consists of a Boolean expression followed by one or more statements. The format of if statement is like it starts with the if keyword followed by an expression followed by a colon symbol. The body of the if statement should be indented to the if statement. The expressions used in the if statements can result in a boolean value true or false. The conditions like with relational operators can be used just like color not equal to green or x less than y etc. Non-boolean values used in the if expressions is treated as true or false as required. Python assumes any non-zero or null value as true and zero or null as false value. Block of statement inside if must be intended. The standard indentation for the Python is four spaces. If the condition is true, the statement within the if block are executed. If the condition is false, the statement within the if block are in executed. There is no limit on the number of statements that can appear in the body of if, but there has to be at least one. To have if body with no statements, use pass statement which does nothing. Example to accept the city name from the user and does nothing if the city name is Mumbai. We use a variable x to take the input from the user. The input method is used to read the data from the user. After that, the value of x is compared as Mumbai by using an if statement. The expression used in the if statement is x equal to Mumbai. If it is true, we have written a single statement pass. It does nothing since we have written the pass in the if body. Generally, this pass statement is used during the program development if the user does not finalize what is the code to be written inside the if block. The later the pass statement can be replaced by the block of code which is required. Example for a Python program to accept the name of a city and if it is Mumbai, display as I love my city using if statement. In this code block, an input method is used to read the data from the user, the city name from the user and store into the variable st. If st is equal to Mumbai, use a print statement to print the statement I love my city. During the execution of the program, if the user enter the city name as Mumbai, the statement will be printed. If the user enter any other city name, the statement will not be printed. That means if the condition is true, the statement part will be executed. If the condition is false, the statement block which is part of the if aren't executed. The second conditional statement is if else statement. An if statement can be followed by an optional else statement which executes when the if expression results in false. An if statement can have at most one else associated with it and it has to be the final clause in the if statement. There is no expression or conditions associated with the else statement. The format of if else statement is the if keyword followed by the expression followed by a colon symbol 
and the body of the if statement block. After the body of the if statement block, use a keyword else followed by a colon and the body of else block statement. The statements which is written inside the if block and else block must be indented. If the condition is true, the statements within the if block are executed and if the condition is false, the statements within the else block are executed. Let us see a Python program to accept a number from the user and find it is even or odd using an if else statement. An input method is used to read the data from the user and typecasting is used for converting that string value into corresponding integer number and store into the variable a. The value of a will be checked whether it is divisible by 2 by using a modulus operator. If the remainder after the division by 2 is equal to 0 that means the number is completely divisible by 2 then the number is an even number that will be printed else if the number is not completely divisible by 2 then the number is an odd number that will be printed in the else block during the execution of the program if the number entered is 10 it will print as even number and if the number entered is 11 it will print as odd number so either of the statement which is written in the if block or else block will be executed depending upon the result of the condition.